A lens makes objects appear more distant? That sounds horrific. Why do you want it? Potatoes. Two sided fork. What? Snow shoes for horses? Oh, that's weird. What a weird dwarf. I suppose why he's, he's, he's not, not living anymore. Ooh. There's a barrel. Meave squinted, Death the better to see there. the scene. Several dozen dwarves had gathered on the cliff overlooking the chasm. All were turned towards a ramp, at the peak of which stood a barrel. What is that gathering hands? about? asked the queen. Have we a feast day? Nay, answered Gabor grimly. It is an execution. Mm. A hairy head peeked out of the barrel. The long, pointy nose and ears left no doubt that it belonged to a gnome. The first Meave had ever seen in her life. The gnome yelled. They aim to kill me. Cast me in the chasm. Shut your maw, barked the dwarf standing next to him, who then shoved the gnome inside the barrel and covered it with a lid. Your crimes, the sheer weight of them, hey? No lighter punishment is fitting. The other gathered dwarves nodded approvingly. Two gripped the barrel, lay it on its side, then lifted it to cast in the chasm, paying the thumping from inside it no heed. Hey. Meave leapt from her horse and, ignoring Gabor's objections, scrambled up the ramp. What did he do? You're not allowed! Hey, damn it! What do you think you're doing? I think it's obvious. Preventing the execution. Ah! Ah! Thanks be to the gods! Oh, righteous! You have no such right! Judgment's been handed down! Sentencing's done! Okay, well, he's Barnabas and you're dwarf. Yes. And a cruel sentence it is. One that prompts me to wonder what the accused did to deserve it. Mm. <laughs> Better to ask what he didn't he do, the varmint. Arrived here with his peddler's wagon full of tricks and gadgets. Went from house to house, praised his rubbish to the high heavens, and what's it he sold us? Bombs that go off in your hand. Beard growth formula that makes your hair catch fire. Music boxes for the kiddies. Once cranked, they never plough and stop. You needed but to loosen the screw in the back and... Shut your maw, ye roaster. Doesn't it matter all that? Cos we'd have forgiven it if he hadn't broken our sacred rules and hallowed customs. Which ones, if you don't mind me asking? Enter the smithy, cap on his head, held nails tween his teeth, and poured fruit syrup in his beer. Raspberry! <laughs> Just the ones, and but a few drops. You got nothing to explain your villainy, scoundrel. Not a thing. Laws. And that's not even the worst. Saved his highest crime for the end. He was in a mine. And he whistled. Ooh. Oh, aye, that's bad. Shouldn't have done that. Hi, he did. Whistled. Through his teeth and hummed in harmony, a, a long warble. We all heard it up and down the shaft, and our grand elders were clear. Death's the punishment. Death by barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Can I buy his freedom? This punishment's cruel and unusual. Your land, your laws, I shall not argue with them. But perhaps there is another way. Can a bail be posted? Hmm. What the law does allow for something of the sort, but I don't see how that job is worth it. Oh, I... he is. He is. Willing I am to take him at his word. Does that suffice? I already lost two companions. Aye, but just so we're clear. No returns, no refunds. Now get the hell out of that barrel, you wee shite. What's he look my lady, like? oh my god! I haven't a way to thank you. I wish I hadn't saved that you. That we've yet to discuss. Perhaps Jesus. first we should learn each other's names. Oh, I like your glasses. Um, thing. hi. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> what a prat of me, uh, Barnabas. Uh, Barnabas Beckenbauer. Uh, to friends, Bibi. Meave. Okay, Bibi. Queen of Lyria and Rivia. A co queen. Cows in the corn, tell me on it. Uh, your Majesty. Obeisance due. None necessary. 
Protocols for use at court, not beyond it. An inventor you deem yourself. Am I right? Most assuredly. Though, truth be told, the dwarves saw no ingenuity in my craft. <laughs> Seems I'm ahead of my time. Fiery bursts in the palm of your hand. They shall be in fashion one day to your mind. Oh, nay, nay, just a bit of misfortune, that's all that was. Y you see, I mistook mercury fulminate for saltpeter. The vials stood beside each other, see, and... The details I need not know. But one matter I am curious about. Could you construct a bomb that would explode when desired? For instance, beneath my foe's feet as they stepped over it? Well, of course mm -hmm. I can! It's as simple. Why then? You wish to show your gratitude? You must join my ranks. Assist me to defeat Nilfgaard. D defeat Nilfgaard? <sighs> Pure ambition, that is. But I'd have been a barrel of broken bones at the bottom of a ravine, if not for you. Exactly. I'll do what you ask to pay off my debt. Mm. And thus, for the first time in Lyrian annals, a gnome enlisted with the army. And though Barnabas Beckenbauer was diminutive of body, this new recruit would prove his worth on more than one occasion. I'm glad. Once of the Sisks learned to the fire. Oh, out of the Sisks out, out of the. You out change of the... your mind, last. Let me know, eh? Got the barrel ready and waiting. No. Out of the sizz, sizzle, sizzle me timbers. Gonna waste 50 gold? Yes. Ooh, two extra things. Now let's quickly add Barnabas. Add BB. Uh, BB? Considering we've had two people leave. Well, that's why we had so many points before. Alright, alright. How's it going, BB? Your Majesty! Allow me once again to express my undying gratitude! You're, welcome. You're most welcome, Barnabas, but please, we haven't need for any formalities when speaking alone. I, uh... Well, well of course. Uh, how might I help you, then? Um, tell me about I'd like there. to know... No, I must know who I travel with. Please, do tell me about yourself. About me? <laughs> um... I've most civil relations with dwarves, <laughs> as you saw. Uh, mm -hmm. But, um... Is there anything in particular you'd like to know? What races are you paying? Why not start at the beginning? Tell me where you hail from, perhaps. Oh, right, right. Uh, well, uh, I was born in the distant south, in Tia Tokhair. My mother was a washerwife, my father an armorer. Soon as I'd passed 40 winters and could strike out on my own, I left the family, my native parts. So I've been on the road now about, um, oh, 20 odd years. So you're 60? Indeed. A rather long while. Did the South simply not suit you? Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. It's just staying would have meant stepping into my father's shoes. Then forging blade after blade, plate after plate. Oh, just thinking on it sets my head a-spinning. Not for me, that, no. No. Nature, the world so rich in mysteries, in wonders left to discover, and ways to make it a better place. By building bombs that explode in the hand, for instance. Ah, yeah. as those bearded fellas say, Mahakam wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Besides, uh, nobody was seriously hurt by those malfunctions. Not many, at any rate. At the moment, have you any invention you've worked on? One that's near complete? Oh, so kind. Oh, wonderful, you should ask. See, I've, uh, I've ever had an avian fascination. Uh, for birds, you see. Their wings, bones. The structure's perfect. The aerodynamicism, the, the, the plumage. In short, I believe I can fly. I beg your pardon? Yes. Yes, I, I'm learning to fly. 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 We've not misheard. I, Barnabas Beckenbauer, will be the first norm... Oh, what am I saying? The first mammal to free himself of the soil's bondage and soar to the clouds. Hmm. 
But aren't bats also? <laughs> a detail. This is no time to be petty. No, but frankly, my preparations are far advanced and I'm rather optimistic about my design and prospects. I've calculated every trajectory, every force. It all works out. Just need to do a few more field tests. Did you have volunteers try it, or did you test the design yourself? Naturally, I must stay on the ground. Who take all the measurements elsewise? Uh, luckily, there's no lack of thrill seekers in Mahakam. Most eager to etch themselves into the annals. My first prototype, the Sky Licker, I dubbed it. Oh, Your Majesty, if you'd only seen the beauty. Flew over a hundred and twenty L's. Truly? Colour me impressed indeed. He must have made quite the name for himself, your brave volunteer. Oh, I'm died. certain he's caught the eye of every she-dwarf in Mahakam since. Uh, oh no, he's dead. Uh, the, the landing, it was rough. And then a bear sauntered by, uh, didn't help any. Uh, anyhow, as he died, the dwarf swore he regretted nothing. Brave lad. A bit daft, though. <clears throat> I see. But the next time you request I try one of your inventions, I'd ask you to remind me of this touching tale. Farewell. Time I attended to other matters. Hmm? Ah, yes, you're still here. Off you go, then. Goodbye, baby. That's Nickers. Nickers! I'm so glad we saved the little gnome. Look at him. He's got his little tea cup, his little kettle, and a little copper. I'm sad that Rayla had to leave because she went psychopathic. Sad that it creates trinkets. I'm gonna mix it up a little. Let's get rid of this. Grab the mandrake. Keep the heel. Uh, I guess we'll sort the flag for this. I don't want to try the, the scepter. Damage the lowest unit by two. Repeat. Charges are depleted every turn on the tenth side. Increase charge count by one. One round end. Set charge to zero. You know, let's take the Scepter of Storms and let's swap the soup for the stone. I don't really have any units that I want. Like, they don't sound exciting. Yeah? I guess we'll go with this. And we'll keep venturing up. I can upgrade the camp. Every year more monsters crawl out for spring cleaning. Mm, that's not good. Okay, glad I clicked the map. It just brought us back into the map. Oh, we're going this way to get this. Remember. Remember? A the blizzard's blowing in. Your grace, perhaps we'd best pitch camp and wait for clear weather. Tain't a bad idea? Said we might be waiting a week. Then we march on. We've no time to waste. While we ride to and fro begging aid, Nilfgaard grows in power. We must obtain reinforcements as quickly as possible and liberate our home. The dwarves of Mahakam often keep their eyes strained to the skies too, isn't it? First, to what travel on second, to show no hungry lizards kill them. We just found a lizard. Is that a lizard or you're just happy to see him? Okay. Is that for the whole game? Because he'll be better later. He'll be better later. Um, let's go with the slinger. Go with the drum boy. Go with the drum. Okay. You know what? Let's start with. No, me. Sorry, yeah. Turnips back for Tainted an encore. Ale. Mark a unit and boost it by ten after he turns and turns start. Destroy that unit and self. What? Uh, transfer damage into a bear. Draw and play two bronze units from your deck. What's this? Nope. We got Farmer Jim this and Farmer Reppy. Black clad heads. Okay, let's hit you. It's fine. I guess there's some harpies out. That's a lot of harpies. Frost. That's not what we want. Let's play. Uh, damage unit by two. 
the lowest student by two. Oh, that's really bad for this. I love that there's a cart. He's on a cart with a goat that carries him around. I guess that's Archer. Larry! Because that'll stay till next round. You know what? Let's see. Oh, that's fine. He summons an egg. Look at the five cards from your deck and play two, then discard the rest. So he played Slash, everybody. Isn't great. And Drake, which is. Did also damage me? Yeah. Oh, I was going to pass, but. Uh, this heal and boost is what we want. Why does that have a timer on it? Okay, let's go. Archer. No. Let's knock you guys back. It's unfortunate that egg died, but it's good that it played right over there. Gosh, That's, fire. Fire. That's fine. None of them seem to have got there. He passed. I also want to pass. Okay. So everything goes away except knickers. I thought I'd boost it, but that's fine. I'll keep her. She's giving 58 damage. I'll keep him. We have to. Do I not get to redraw? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's go Trump Boy. Left, right, left, right. What are you gonna play? Yes, four and a heartbeat. Drummer Boy summons an archer. One question. question. I need. Then let's hmm. Play the Mandrake. Okay, we get Necessity! <laughs> Inventions Mum! The Mandrake again. We'll play the Mandrake. Okay, we get a hobo. Oh no, we get this dragon. We get a hobo. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to and die. We still have to No. No. Uh you know what? Let's kill this harpy. And um, we kill the egg. Bye. -bye. That's fine. Okay, we get an egg. That's fine. He plays Frost, so oh, we kill that egg, so that gets us a harpy. We're gonna Curse get rid of the frost. We're gonna end. Uh, okay, that's fine because I ate whatever that was. The wine? I think wine would kill a dog, but that's fine. Um Let's play this guy. I've hit the white Let's of an eye from our full eagle way. Another harpy. And then the harpy spawns an egg. Mm -hmm. Play a harpy. And then we'll play this guy. You should have been that. Um, and we're gonna punch this harpy. And then we'll punch that harpy. And then. I know this spawns a harpy, but. Oh, two harpies. Oh. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. We'll end ten, and then he'll play something. Eventually. The drake. The egg, the eggs. Okay. He's got more eggs. Let's play our spy. Cork it! We don't use this, because I'll kill our spy. Hopefully he doesn't play one of these and eat my spider. That's the three lowest, so that's fine. Um we'll play the archer. Give me a time. Oh no, we're gonna play her just in case it's not. I'd hope room. we could solve this her. some other way. Because if he comes over, I don't want him to vlog up and then we can't play her and lose out 85 points. That's fine. Can we play him? We can. So we can of your command. Let's go. You guys get knocked back. Ugh. And let's end now. Let's use this. Then he'll play a thing. Play a harpy. We damage all enemies by three. One. Spawns harpies. A bunch of harpies die. 
and then we'll light. What's he gonna do? Okay. Bam, you did. Mr. Burnt Face. Okay, we'll collect your flesh. And this loot. Is this something down here? Or is this nothing? Oh, it's a question mark. Hello? Your Majesty, a she dwarf hides in the mine. According to Gabo, her name is Stanka Morna, a renegade and thief sought by every clan. We could dispatch a few guards, but it would let her go. But if we let her go, she promised to show us where she buried treasure. Um. Uh, if I upset my men, I can get them back to normal with that praying spot up there. So my men are sad. If we come up here, we can get them back to default mode. If we pray. And we've got a treasure map that we never use. So it's win-win. The clans that need to know that she's gone. My men are happy because we prayed. We'll snatch this. We'll see if we can upgrade my camp. Maybe walls. Nest it. Uh, units excluding artifacts take up 10% less recruitment. All we can get pluses. Oh. Or play a copy of this unit from your deck. Okay, where do we want to. Enables you to trade gold for wood or recruitments as well as wood for gold. That's more trap dudes. Hmm. Let's upgrade this. So that gave us bombers plus and we can make the other things. Oh, I thought we could already... Don't we already have cavalry plus? Oh, we got something new. Oh yeah, bomb plus, single plus, that guy plus. Let's move out. Full march. Cheeky loot. It's more cheeky loot. Keep an eye out for Leave that. Leave Rodon in silence, endeavoring to work out the length of her exile thus far. A scout's call tore her from her reverie. Your Grace, mm. you must see this. With a grave mien, the soldier indicated a track in the snow. Human boots. The hobnail boot print was all too familiar. Meave had seen it before, upon Lyria's sandy tracks and midst the ashes to which Edern had been turned. Nilfgaardian footmen. Seethed Meave. Marched through of late. Interrupted Gascon. A day, perhaps two days, passed. How are the Milfs ahead of us when we had to get with the leaden ring? The scouts had learned a Nilfgaardian caravan with an armed escort had recently arrived in Mahakam. The invaders had brought with them chests brimming with gold and jewels, That's then hard. exchanged these for the finest Mahakaman forged swords and spears. Wow. A scout gave me one of the coins the black clads had used for payment. Upon the coin's back, the Lyrian eagle. They pay Excuse with gold me? from my vault, the queen said through gritted teeth. For arms that will cut down my fighting men and subjects. We mm. might yet pursue and hunt them down, said Reynard, a spark in his eye. And Definitely. make certain Ed Dahi never lays hands on those weapons. You might, again, piped up Gabor, who had been listening to their exchange. But you might also recall. We Mahakamans are neutrals who assure all guests within our borders safety. True, formally speaking, the Nilfgaardians have passed outside them, but attack him a stone's throw from our gates, and you'll see Bruver's rage come out his ears as steam and out his arse as fire. We've got to obey their laws, I guess, even though we let Django. No war's outcome has been swayed by a few wagons of arms. No matter their quality, said the Queen, vaulting into her saddle. Yet if we turn Bruver against us, I dare say we shall never wrest our land from black-clad hands. The Queen's men regretted her reluctance to attack, but none tried to dissuade her. They knew her too well. I mean, they're neutral territory. I don't want to force them into the war. 